Guys, Tony, sorry, sir, 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 and welcome to another episode of Think That Thing, Hit That Thing, Hit and Run and Cigar Review. What did he say? <laughs> Today we are doing the Room 101 Hit and Run Redux, and um, yeah, I have too much caffeine, so let's get started really quickly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the the cigar right now. All right, room 101, hit and run, Redux. The wrapper is Mexican San Andreas. Binder is Ecuadorian Sumatra. And the fillers are Nicaraguan Corojo Nayi A. And uh, some other Nicaraguan as well. And Pennsylvania in the filler, okay? The size, I believe, is a Toro. Six by 50, price is $13.29 each. MSRP, box of 20. Eh, you know what? I, I have a bad feeling about this based on the bottom but showing some leaf being kind of greenish. Let's see. All right, let's get started. Hmm? I don't know, it smells kind of burnt. Leafy and charred burn of some sort. Leafy and charred burn of some sort. Hmm. Oh, pepper. Did I cut too little? I think that'll be okay. Bah, bah. What? Star anis, some bitterness, some musty tree leaf, some wood. What's with the bitterness? That's so weird. And floral, a little bit. All right, here we go. Mineral. A lot of mineral. Woodsiness. What? Mineral and woodsiness. That's all I got. A lot of mineral and dirt. Dry rocks. All right. Let me smoke for a little bit. Get first third and see what this is about. Be right back. All right, first stir. Tastes like um, wood note. Something burned. B 
bread. Spice of some sort. Paprika. Of some sort. A little bit of kind of burnt pepper taste. Uh, and don't tell me that I'm smoking too fast. I'm, this thing does not burn out well. Does not burn out well. So I have to kind of fix it because it's not a lot of heat. I'm putting my finger right on the line. It's not hot. All right. So. <clears throat> yeah, it tastes like a hit and run. Somebody hit it and ran, left the dead body there. But yeah, let me keep smoking second, third, and I'll be right back. Second, third. This thing doesn't burn well. It's got a little bit floral. Maybe a little bit of cocoa, woodsiness, bread, mineral. It's kind of a confused combination. I'm not I'm not seeing the really good flavor out of this, so man, and it burns horrible. It burns horrible. So right now, look at this. Yeah, it burns horrible. <clears throat> what am I expecting out of Room 101, you know? Yeah, hidden rum bin right there with a signature. I mean, hey, if it's me, I probably wouldn't want to put my signature on there. But that's the first band. Uh, I know the bottom white line is kind of cool, but it almost look like they, they missed the cut line. So I don't know. <laughs> Luster, smoke it through, call it a day. <sighs> Be right back. You know what? <clears throat> no. I just got to show you this last bit because I can smoke it all the way through and then call it a day. There you go. Room 101 there. I mean, this part of the band looks okay. That looks nice. Clean. All right. But I don't know about the rest. Don't know about the rest. All right. Be right back. All right. Last third. I tried to give the best opportunity as possible on this one. It tastes like... It tastes like a room 101 hit and run. Um, it tastes... It did not shine that Mexican Saint Andreas. It did not shine on any of the thing that's in here. It, it just tastes like... That few flavor that's in here, but they don't really marriage that well. I mean, some people might think that's a that's a good marriage. I don't know. I, I didn't think that the San Andreas shine. Now, San Andreas has a really nice musty woodsy tones and some, you know, dark notes. And this thing doesn't, it has a very confused note, plus a little bit floral. Some, some people might like it. And especially if you're a beginner, you probably like it because you got to taste a lot of notes. And not really thinking about whether or not those notes work for you because you taste it and you're like, oh, nice. I taste something. It's flavorful. And it's good. That, that's perfectly fine. But for someone that's looking for a, a characteristic of these leaves to shine and have those really dark, nice notes to it, this thing does the opposite. It's trying to be... Something close of a, a, a lighter cigar, but with the dark leaf in there. So it doesn't work for me. I can see some people enjoy it, but Room 101 has consistently disappointed me. Okay. So uh, in terms of the price, this thing was like 13 something. I think the best I can give is maybe 750 Maybe 750 to $8. That's the that's, uh, best I would think this cigar is worth. Now again... Some people might think it's worth it. Some people might like it. Some people might enjoy it. Um, you know, at one point in my cigar journey, I did enjoy Room 101. But as I go, such as like, hey, you know what? They, uh, they they do have flavor, but it's not. It's, 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 it's like telling a technology guy to go farm. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what it tastes like to me. Okay, so yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, check out podcasts. Um, I will still recommend beginners to try this cigar. If you smoke, you know, first one or two years, that might be a good cigar. 
somebody that smoked five, six, ten years probably wouldn't be so. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.